Hey guys, Max here. Wanted to take a moment and kind of go over with you guys some of the little projects I've been working on in Max Park. Um, a lot of this footage is coming from my streams over on Twitch. You can look down in the description and get my name over there and uh, definitely give me a follow um, uh, if you want to check out the live streams as I work on Max Park here. But uh, yeah, let's get into it. So this park has been my first attempt, uh, well, was it first, yeah, it's not my first attempt. Um, basically just trying to make a park that you might see kind of in the everyday world. Um, you know, I know the game, the game, the game is awesome. I mean, it has just, I mean, any scenery item can go together with any other scenery item and you can essentially build whatever you want to build. and. You know, much like with, um, you know, real life, you, you kind of build off of inspiration. But, uh, I, anyway, uh, I wanted to build a park that wasn't necessarily a western theme or a fairy tale theme, but maybe was built around the premise of almost like a generic or a bland style, where everything is just meant to look nice and be convenient. Um... Except for like the rides, and we'll get into a little bit more of the rides later, but um, right here you can kind of see my attempt at building a little, kind of like a strip plaza. Uh, I was definitely having a hard time with the roofs. Like I said, it was kind of my first real attempt at something like this. Um, when I was building this, it was my, uh, I hadn't even realized that you can go to the custom tab. This was right about when I figured that out, so... Um, yeah, I got frustrated there. And actually, if you watch long enough here, you'll just know I come back to that design anyway. Here's where I started experimenting. What I did was I designed it in a way to be able to have a second story. So the whole thought on it was you could break out one of these concrete wall or brick walls and plop another um, store right on a second level and kind of, you know, have a path going up to match that. Um, that way you can kind of create like this two story shopping center all around, you know, the outer edges of the path here. And, and again, I was doing this on, you know, like what would be, well, like a challenge mode, I think is what it was called. So the funds I was using were essentially being earned and spent as I went, which is one of the reasons why I started off the game so damn broke. But, uh, you know, that's, that's what makes it challenging. It makes it fun and exciting. You know, there's so many modes in this game and there's so much to do and so much to build. And, you know, I, I'm making a whole video here. I'm building a little shopping center. There's... I haven't even gotten into the roller coasters yet, which eventually I am pretty far along. I'm almost probably 15 hours into this part, um, just based on the live streams. I've played a little bit off stream, just kind of little touch up stuff. But this is definitely one of the very first things I built. Um, but I think after this point here, we'll jump ahead a little bit. Yeah, and eventually I do get it done here um, after these little discoveries, which is quite awesome how they do it, actually. What's cool, though, is you already kind of know what you're researching, and that there, there's the initial concept, anyway. I got the cosmic cow for the shakes, I got the the beef stand and the, the restrooms there, and that was kind of like the beginning stages of, you know, food and drink and restrooms for my, uh, for my clientele. And then I put it right at the entrance just because I had a plan of building all around the entire kind of um, entire range of the place. And here is where I got the idea of putting in like a bell tower. Thought it'd be really neat to kind of give it like its own tower, its own little place. <laughs> yeah, and. Picking signs is hard work, because it doesn't really tell you how big they are. So you're kind of just left clicking until you find one that you like. Um, not to mention that, but I, I build impulsively. 
not very much of a plan ahead type in a game like this. I like to kind of just start building and see where it takes me. If I remember right, I, I believe I find something I like. Eventually. Alright, now here we are. This is when I started to put in the bell tower itself. Again, pretty simple. Just four archway blocks. Took me a minute to refine that bell. There it is. And it's just a matter of positioning it where you're wanting it. Again, this was the very, one of the very first times I played the game, so I hadn't really gotten used to using the advanced move tool. But you just push X. And it allows you to click and drag an item essentially anywhere, clipping it through whatever you want and putting it exactly where you think it needs to be. Uh, after this, I kind of play around with just the decorations of the place a little bit. Try to find what looks nice. So eventually I get the bell tower all up and handy and beautiful, get the roof on it. Again, takes me a minute to get the roof on there because, uh, you know, you live and learn. You live and learn. But this is just a quick video. Like I said, I'm going to do a little series of videos just kind of showing the different projects that I built during the live stream. Again, if you want to watch the live stream, you can go find me on Twitch at Max Plays games but it's spelled game x so what max plays game x but yeah i try to stream almost every day you can come find me on there i also stream on youtube every once in a while um sub if you uh want to see more content like this or many other games i play and like if you liked it um otherwise you look out for the next video it's going to be more of a ride design video should be exciting but I will uh, see you guys all in the next one.